Jesus, you're so good. Lord, you're so good. You are so good, Lord. We worship you and give you praise and glory, Lord. We magnify your name over this city, over this area, over our families. We magnify your name. Your name is above every other name. Your name, your name, the name of Jesus, Lord. We decree it. We declare the name of Jesus over this city. In Jesus' name. He's a name above all names, and he's worthy of all praise. Yes, my heart will sing how great is our God. Sing, he's a name above all names. Yes, he's a name above all names, and he's worthy of all praise. Yes, my heart.
Yes, he's the name above all names. Yes, he is. And he's worthy of all praise. Yes, my heart will sing and how great is our God. Yes, he's the name above all names. And he's worthy of all praise. Yes, my heart will sing how great is our God. Yes, he is. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how again and how great is our God sing with me how great is our God and all will see how great how great is our God sing the name above all names yes he's the name above all names and he's worthy of all praise Yes, my heart will sing how great is our God. Yes, yes, he's a name above all names. Jesus, and he's worthy of all praise. Oh, my heart will sing how great. He's the name above all names, and he's worthy of all praise. Oh, my heart will sing how great is our God. Let's sing how great is our God one more time. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. One more time. And how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Father, we worship you. We give you all praise and glory. We lift the name of Jesus high, high above all other name in the earth, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. One more song we're going to sing with you tonight. Did you feel the mountains tremble? Did you hear the oceans roar? When the people rose to sing of Jesus Christ, the risen one. Did you feel the people tremble? Did you hear the singers roar when the lost began? Jesus. Jesus Christ, the saving one. Who can see that God you're moving? A mighty river through the nations, and young and old will turn to Jesus. Fling wide you heavenly gates, prepare the way of the risen Lord. And open up the doors and let the music play, let the streets resound with that bring your hope song 
And do you feel the darkness tremble when all the saints join in one song? And all the streams flow as one river to wash away our brokenness. Let's do that verse again. Do you feel the darkness tremble when all the saints join in one song? And all the streams flow as one river to wash away our brokenness. And here we see that God, you're moving. A time of jubilee is coming. When young and old return to Jesus. Fling wide you heavenly gates. Prepare the way of the risen Lord. And open up the doors. Resound with singing Songs that bring your hope Songs that bring your joy Dancers who dance upon injustice Let's sing, sing wide Sing wide you heavenly gates Swing wide you heavenly gates Swing wide, you heavenly gates, swing wide. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates, swing wide. And open up the doors and let the music play. Let the streets resound with singing. There are songs that bring your hope and songs that bring your joy. Dancers who dance upon injustice. Let's sing, sing wide. One more time. Swing wide. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates, swing wide. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. Swing wide, you heavenly gates, swing wide. And open up the doors and let the music
There is no other name. There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. There is no other name but the name of Jesus. There is no other name but the name of Jesus. I want you to start declaring the name of Jesus right now in your car. Just right now, just start Jesus. Just declare his name. Jesus. Jesus. Come on. I would encourage you to lift your hands and just worship him. Adore him. He hears your worship today. He hears your praise and your adoration. We declare the name of Jesus is above every name. We declare that the kingdom of God reigns above every kingdom. That his dominion is over every dominion. That he reigns from sea to sea. That he reigns over every mountain and every valley. That he, that he reigns over the White House and he reigns over every crack house. That he reigns in the valleys and the deserts. That he reigns in the great cities. That he reigns in every place. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. There is no other name but Jesus. There is no other name that has been given by which we must be saved. And we declare hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will shout the praise of Jesus. We will shout his name tonight. For his name is worthy over the city of Everett. His name is worthy over the Seattle region. His name is worthy over Washington State. His name is worthy over the USA. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you tonight. We worship your mighty name. And we declare your word. We declare your worth and your beauty. We declare your power and your might. We declare your compassion and your love. We declare that you are a healer and you are a savior. That you are a baptizer in the Holy Spirit. And that you are the soon coming king. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. I want to encourage you. We're going to work on our sound system. We're going to we're going to see increase from week to week. So thank you for joining us on YouTube. Thank you for joining us by your listening ear. But we're going to we're going to keep bringing increase and make this better as we go. So I want to thank our sound team and our staff and everybody that just made this happen really quick. So. Thank you for your patience as we work work out the details week to week. But um, and I'm thankful for the Hoffmans leading worship, and I'm thankful for all of you. And I believe that this is a great time. I want you to know that as you leave the parking lot, that you are able to sign referendum 90. There's a table by the building on your way out. And if you would like to see a petition uh, on the ballot that goes for uh, that, to repeal the sex ed bill in Washington State, please sign that on your way out. But we are, um, we are coming in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are believing that our prayers are shaking heaven and earth. Jesus taught us to pray this way. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus taught us to pray. He said this, Our Father in heaven, why don't you go ahead and just begin to pray this with me, all right? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done. On earth, on earth as, it in as it is in heaven. Give us today. Give us today. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we also forgive our debtors. As we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us. From the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Father God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus tonight that the kingdom of heaven would break into the earth. Get over the government, Lord God, of Washington State and the United States. Father, over Governor Inslee and Mayor Cassie yes, Franklin, Lord God. Over our Snohomish County Commissioner, our City and County Councils, Lord God. Over our local and state officials. Over President Trump and Vice President Pence tonight. We are praying that the kingdom of heaven would be released into the earth. That the kingdom of God, the government of God, the 
reign of our King would be released over the governments of this earth, Lord God. And we are praying that your kingdom power would be released to stop the spread of COVID-19, Lord God. Lord, that we would not just see a flattened curve, we would see a flat curve, Lord God. That we would see, Lord, something miraculous, Lord. That is beyond what man can do, but is what only your kingdom can do, Lord. For we trust not in the power and wisdom of man, we trust in the power and wisdom of Almighty God. And so, Lord, we just thank you, God, for what you are able to do beyond what we are able to ask or imagine. That your kingdom, Lord, your kingdom reigns. You have the power, you have the wisdom, you have the compassion, Lord God. So we are appealing to your goodness. We are appealing to your mercy. We are appealing to your name. And we are lifting up your kingdom, your kingdom authority, that it would be released in this hour over the affairs of man, Lord God. And Lord, we pray for mercy and compassion on all those that do not fear you, Lord. We pray your blessing, God, on those who don't know you. That your, that your love and goodness would be extended over hard hearts and that you would soften hearts and that you would draw people unto yourself and that the salvation of your kingdom would be released in this hour. The forgiveness of your kingdom would be released in this hour on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for establishing your kingdom and your power in Jesus' mighty name. We give you thanks, Lord, and we worship you, Lord. We thank you for the household of the faith at Sunrise Christian Center. We thank you for your kingdom being demonstrated and released through your people, through their homes through their marriages, through their businesses, through their workplaces, Lord God, through their neighborhoods. We thank you for your kingdom reign being established and released through your people, Lord God. And we thank you for your protection, Lord God. We thank you for your protection against disease. We thank you for your protection against, uh, Lord, any kind of backlash or assignment of the evil one, Lord God, over the people of Sunrise Christian Center. For it's your kingdom, Lord, that we are surrendered to. And we thank you that you are our king who protects us, who looks out for us, who heals us, who blesses us, who loves us, who convicts us, who uses us, who empowers us. We give you thanks for your kingdom authority. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 26, verse 3. Oh, okay. Isaiah 26, verse 3. And I preface it because we are surrounded by folks that are concerned, worried. There's a cloaking, as it were, over America of fear. And this verse is an antidote. And that we would use this verse that I'm going to read to you in the way that we pray for our neighbors, many of our friends, those searching, those that are uncertain. Isaiah 26.3 reads, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Yes. Father, we ask that those that we know and that we love would come into a place of peace with you as they turn their face and their minds to you, that they would find a new place of what it is to trust in you, God. Yes. Father, that this tangible realism would find its truth, its fact, that when we put our trust in you, you give us peace. And Lord, we're asking that this realism, this reality, would reach into the hearts of America, our neighbors, and Father, especially for our families that our loved ones will be cradled in your care and in your love as we know what it is to turn our face to you and throw our trust into your care. We turn our hearts to you. We say, yes, we trust you, Heavenly Father. That we ask that you help us, empower us, to stand firm in not only the trust, but especially with 
the propaganda, and with the untruth that is filling the air. It's as if a mist, a canopy of worry, concern, death, fear. And Lord, that your people would stand up in the midst of that, have their faces turned towards you. And as we do this, as we keep our minds upon you, others would see and begin to look in the same direction as we help them put their trust in you. Father, this is what we ask, that in this opportunity, we would see it as gold, mining gold, this opportunity. And that would be people's hearts towards you, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so good. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Have your way in Everett, Lord. We declare your blessing over Walmart, Lord God. Over Boeing, Lord. Over local businesses, Lord. We pray for the blessing of Jesus over our city, Lord. Lord, we pray for safety and we pray for a release, Lord God, of the finances and the economy, Lord God, in our local community, Lord God. Lord, the channels of business would open up and be blessed, Lord. That households would be provided for, Lord. That no children would go hungry in this time, Lord. We pray for your deliverance and your blessing over our businesses and over our city. In Jesus' name. Thank you. I was turning and stuff, but if you can stay back here, you can. Father, we thank you today for your goodness, your faithfulness, for your loving kindness towards us. We bless you this evening for who you are in our lives, Lord. We lift up our eyes to the hills, to the author, to the finisher, to the perfecter of our faith. We thank you for the opportunity to seek your face while you may be found, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for the time that you've given us to examine, to repair, Lord God, to draw near to you, Lord God, to draw close to you, Lord, that you've opened up the eyes of our understanding, Lord God, that you're tearing away every veil and every scale, Lord, that tries to conceal us from seeking you in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for who you are. We thank you for your provision that you always have been re re remained faithful as being our provider. You are El Shaddai, the most multi-breasted, all-sufficient one. You are Jehovah Yireh, the Lord who sees our need and goes ahead and makes provision. Lord, we thank you that you are the Lord who delivers us. Hallelujah. From affliction, from pain, from sickness, from disease. We thank you, Lord God, that this is the time that the harvest is ripe, Lord God. And that this, the harvest is being developed and cultivated from the skillful laborers, Lord. So, Lord God, we commit our hands to you, Lord God. We commit our lives to you, Lord God. We say set us apart for the work and the calling on which you've given us, Lord. No more waiting, no more waiting, no more waiting. Lord, that we be thrust forth into the harvest field to do as you've called us to do. That we cultivate the soil of our land, that we till the ground, Lord God, of that which you've given us. Father, we thank you for people coming from the north, south, east, and west for breaking off chains, for breaking addiction, Lord God, for bringing deliverance, Lord God. We thank you that the anointing of God destroys the yoke. Hallelujah. Righteous Father, we thank you for your righteousness spreading through the land. We pray for the Pacific Northwest region, and we're asking that you would unlock the wells of creativity. You would unlock the
ourselves and creativity and ingenuity, Lord God, that businesses would not hit slumps and suffer in the way that it would be forecasted, Lord, but you give creative ideas and witty inventions, for you said you wisdom dwell with prudence and you give witty inventions unto minds. So we're asking that you would unlock the minds, unlock the wells of creativity and innovation and ingenuity and problem solving. New markets, Lord God. New markets, new markets. We pray for the businesses that employ so many, Lord. We pray for the leadership of the businesses. We're asking that you would touch their hearts. You would turn their hearts away from iniquity and you would turn them towards righteousness in the name of Jesus that you would cancel the assignment of the evil one to bring fear. Father, for you said the evil one comes to do nothing but to steal, kill, and destroy. But the shoot came to give life through Yeshua and bring it to the full. So we thank you for abundant life to the overflow. Father, we pray for young people who think that their future is jarred and who have a misconception and a perception about the future that it will be covered with a cloud. We thank you that the only cloud is the cloud of the Lord leading them in Jesus' name. It's the great cloud of witnesses that goes before them according to Hebrews 12 and 1. Father, we declare righteousness in our land, righteousness over our government, righteousness, Lord God, in every facet of society. Father, we pray for Governor Inslee. We pray that you would give him wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you. We pray for righteous advisors, Lord God. Father, we thank you that you would expose and tear down every demonic agenda, every unclean thing that would try to prevent the state of Washington from going forward in the destiny and the calling of which you have called this state. We thank you that you said that the fervent and effectual prayers of the righteous avail as much. So we lift up our prayers over the state of Washington and we declare and decree that every word that you've spoken over our state shall come to pass in Jesus' name. We declare a release in Jesus' name. We decree a release in the north, the south, the east, and west in the name of Jesus. In every county, Lord God, in every city, we pray for each mayor, Lord God. We thank you that you're tearing down veils and scales of darkness that you're tearing down demonic and diabolical plans lord you know what's done in dark and you said it shall come to the light so we thank you lord god for bringing forth the light of the world into every aspect of our society Hallelujah. We pray for the education system. Father, even as we lift up this bill to you and we lay it at your feet, we say consume everything that would try to destroy our children. In Jesus' name, we come against doctrines of demons that try to pervert the minds of our children. And we declare a hedge of protection amongst the minds of the children. We pray that you would embolden the teachers and the educators and the principals and the superintendents, that they would be emboldened with truth, that the spirit of truth would come over them and seize them and they would speak the light of God. They would speak yes. righteousness of God into every facet, Lord God. We thank you for new curriculums being developed that yes. would be released into the school systems that would liberate minds, Lord God. That would liberate captives from the bondage and the captivity of sin, Lord God. That restores identity into yes. righteousness and holiness and purity in Jesus' name. We thank you for a supernatural head of protection amongst all of our young adults in the Pacific Northwest region. We declare and decree, Lord God, that your hand would be upon them that they would hear your voice, that the most important voice would be the voice of the Lord, for you said the voice of the Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord destroys the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord is the most important voice in the universe, and we release clarity to hear your voice, Lord God. For every young adult in the Pacific Northwest region, we break off this depraving spirit. We break off spirits of suicide and heaviness. We thank you for the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We thank you for the oil of gladness. We thank you for beauty for ashes for the beautiful exchange coming upon every young adult, yes. Lord God. In Jesus' name. Yes. That their future would be sure because they find themselves and their footing in you, Lord God. We come against self-deception and self-delusion, Lord God. Believing in self-righteousness that it's by our own works and by our own minds that we save ourselves. We declare that salvation is found in one and one alone. And it's Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we appropriate the blood of Jesus over our region, over our nation, Lord God. We pray for the President of the United States. We pray for the Vice President. We pray for the Cabinet. We pray for the Congress. We pray for the legislators. We pray for all the judges. We ask for a removal of unrighteous judges and that you put in new judges that stand according to the law. Not just the law of man, but the law of God. People who have a fear and a reverence towards you. People who will not take bribes in secret, Lord God. Cancel that, Lord God, which had been before us. Father, we do not want to go back to the old norm. We thank you That's for a right. new norm where holiness is the standard.
standard where righteousness is the standard where the kingdom of God and all the righteousness of God is what we exalt in our society Lord God, we thank you for restoring our families. Thank you for blessing the marriages during this time. Thank you that we draw closer to one another. Thank you that we rediscover our spouses once again in Jesus' name. Thank you for canceling everything that tries to destroy marriages in Jesus' name. Thank you for those that are waiting and those who are walking in purity and who are waiting on their mate. We thank you for keeping them, that they would not be isolated and alone, that they would not give their bodies over thinking that they have to do that in this time. We come against that spirit of loneliness and we thank you for that invita invitation that you give to intimacy with you. We pray that their fully unyielded devotion would be upon the Lord in the time when they're unmarried, that you cleanse them you purify them and that they would know in the fullness of time you will send forth a spouse that is yes, right for them yes, that they can become in a one flesh relationship yes, with them father we ask for a supernatural hedge upon the all those in the pacific northwest and all those in the united states we pray for the globe we pray for global affairs and we ask lord god that you would bring a settling upon the nations upon the desire of nations whose name is jesus let your kingdom gospel come forth like never before. Break strongholds. Awaken hearts. Awaken minds. Bring liberty to captives in Jesus' name. Break off lies and deception. Let the spirit of truth go forth. Let the spirit of truth go forth. Let the spirit of truth go forth. Come on. Come on. Pray with me, saints. I, I don't spectate. Let the spirit of truth go forth in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Thank you for driving air out of our nation and bringing in the spirit of truth. Not a right and left agenda, not a red and blue agenda, but a purple agenda of the kingdom of God. Yes. Let the holiness of the Lamb and the righteous line of Judah come forth like never yes. before. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we pray for all those whose mouths have been covered up, Lord God, who have been concealed, Lord God, that this that we call for those out of obscurity, the preachers from the north, the south, the east, and west, in every jurisdiction of life. We thank you that you're using doctors now who are preaching the truth. We thank you that you're using nurses, you're using lawyers and judges, people in every sphere and jurisdiction. Their pulpit is their life every day, Lord God. And we thank you for the spirit of God quickening every person in every sphere that they find themselves in. Restore our neighborhoods, restore our communities. We say have mercy on us, O oh God, according to your unfailing love. Blot out our transgressions, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us from all sin. And we're asking for the garment of praise. We're asking for you said in your word that you would give us songs of deliverance. Let new songs rise up. New songs rise up. New songs rise up that declare your kingdom coming. Let new songs rise up that declare darkness vanquished. Let new songs rise up that call the generation of holiness and purity. Hallelujah. Not fame as a drug. We break that lie and deception of people trying to get famous. There is only one famous one. Hallelujah. And we thank you that their name being known in the Lamb's Book of Life is more important than being known on YouTube and social media and Twitter and TikTok and Facebook and all the different mediums. Father, we thank you for those channels to be able to touch people's lives for your truth. But we don't bow our lives to that looking for fame. So, Lord, we're asking that our hearts would be turned towards you. Raise up the generation in righteousness. Let this time be a time where we're restored. Thank you for the ministry of reconciliation. We come against this scheme to bring racial division. We come against this demonic ploy of the evil one to bring up racial agendas that try to bring division between the ethnicities. We declare that the kingdom of God is full of every ethnicity. And we declare holiness and reconciliation between ethnicities in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We declare every native and every tongue shall worship the Lord. We declare that people will walk according to the bond of peace through the Holy Ghost. We declare the Ruach HaKodesh rules over our land in Jesus' name. Let your land, let your spirit come, Lord God. Let your spirit come. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I just thank you right now, God. We come before you humbly, Lord God. We ask that you would move in our hearts, oh God.
God, we ask that you move in our city, oh God. God, we ask right now that you would revive us, oh God. Oh God, we want revival, but Lord God, let it begin within our own hearts, oh God. Let revival begin within our own souls, oh God. Lord God, awaken us, Lord God, that every day we have to have a little more of you. We have to have our our, 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 our conversation with you. We need to have our, our language seasoned with the salt of the gospel, Lord God. God, I ask that you would meet with us, Lord God, every morning as we are hungry for you, that we would long for you even more than we long for food, oh God, that we would long for you, that we'd be interceding, Lord God, in prayer and fasting, Lord God. I thank you for this opportunity in this season, Lord God, to press into you, to awaken our eyes and to transform our minds, Lord God, to get fixed on the prize, Lord God, to get fixed on the goal, Lord God, to see salvation, to see the kingdom of heaven populated, Lord God, and the kingdom of hell completely bankrupt in Jesus' name. God, I ask that you administer healing to people who are sick, Lord God. I ask that you administer healing, Lord God, to those who are hurting, Lord God, those who are lonely, those who are isolated, Lord God. Right now, I ask that you would speak to them, that you'd break off shame, you'd break off uh, 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 sadness and loneliness and isolation, Lord God, they would walk in the truth of their identity. Father God, I pray for every single student right now, Lord God, in junior high, in high school, in middle school, in, 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 in elementary school, Lord God, I ask that your hand would be upon them in this season. Lord God, as you're giving the opportunity for the hearts of the fathers to be towards, turned towards the children, Lord God, I pray that in this season that we would not lose some of the things we gained, oh God, that we would have the opportunities to spend dinner with our family, oh God, that we would turn to bless our children, Lord God, that we would take advantage of every opportunity we have to be loving and kind and generous to our children, to raise up a generation, Lord God, a generation of revivalists, Lord God, people who want to see an awakening in their city because we do, God, have awakened their hearts. God, I ask that you would bring strength to us, that we would not shrink back in fear, we would not shrink back in in, 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 in doubt, Lord God, but that we would know that it is for such a time as this that we have been created, oh God, that we wouldn't look 10 years back in, in history and say, man, I wish I would have taken opportunity. No, God, you are moving today. Today you are moving, God. Here I am, God, use me. If that's you, say it as well. Here I am, God, use me. Use me today, God. Not tomorrow, not when COVID's over, not when phase three, phase four starts. Use me today, God, to be an ambassador of your love to be an ambassador of your truth, to be an ambassador of your word, to be an ambassador of your presence, and that I can declare truth and healing, Lord God. We will not shrink back just because we didn't see the miracle. We will press in for the promise of eternal life in Christ Jesus by the blood of the Lamb. We will not fear nothing, Lord God, by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and love not our life unto death. God, I ask for the young people in schools that they would not shrink back from their academics and grow lazy, Lord God, that they wouldn't it would be a shame, Lord God, to leave this season dumb. So God, I thank you that you're going to strengthen them to focus not on just their academics, but on the word of God as well, Lord, that they would grow both in wisdom and in their spirit, God. They would take advantage of the opportunity to pray when they wake up, because many of them wake up whenever they want to wake up now. Hallelujah. But Lord God, I thank you that you're giving us an opportunity to learn how to have a relationship with you, God. You are, you are pushed the reset button. I'm not saying you caused this, God, but in all things. Come on, God can make all things. Come on, everybody. God makes all things for the good of those who love Christ Jesus. So, God, I'm looking for good today. God, I'm looking for good tomorrow. God, I'm looking for good when I leave this parking lot. God, I'm looking for good in the bushes, Lord God. I'm looking for good out in the, out in the driveway, Lord God. I'm looking for good in the Wendy's drive through Thank God it's still open for the Wendy's 4 for 4 for my kids. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Jesus that we're going to see goodness everywhere we go, even when we make a phone call to the Comcast company because our internet's lame like Pastor John's wife. She sees goodness. She saw opportunity and released love to somebody, God. Let us fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. God, we didn't want a revival. Awaken our land. Awaken this yes. place, oh God. Awaken our hearts, oh God. Let us fix our eyes on you and become disciple makers. Let us transform yes. our city by taking those whom the world has rejected rejected by taking those whom the Everett has even rejected, Lord God, and say, these are the leaders of this community. These are the ones that are going to be radically transformed by God's power and presence, and we will see deliverance. We will see healing. We will see victory yes. in the name of Yeshua. Father God, I ask that you would move on the hearts of every person here. God, I thank you for this opportunity this summer to minister outside these walls. God, I thank you for opportunities to think beyond our reality, Lord God. I thank you for allowing us to not go back to business as usual, but we would have to rise up in radical faith, 
rise up in radical confidence in what you did on the cross and the cross alone, Jesus, that we resolve to know nothing but Christ and Him crucified. Father, we would see breakthrough and we would see miracles, Lord God, but we would ultimately seek first and foremost your face, oh God, and it was your face we would see. God, I ask that you would move in the leaders of this church, Lord God, that you would give us wisdom and guidance, Lord God, and, and the volunteers and the members of this church, Lord God, to give us wisdom and guidance, oh God, to walk in your precepts, to walk in your direction, to walk in your ways, oh God. And I thank you that this is just the beginning. I thank you that right now you have given us an acorn seed, Lord God. You've given us an acorn seed. But Lord God, in that acorn seed, Lord God, is thousands and tens of thousands of a harvest of oaks, Lord God, to rise up. And so, Father, I thank you that we are planting seeds in this ground. We drive out the serpents in this land in the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus. And we crush them under the heel, Lord God. And we say, no, you cannot have this land. Everett it will not be known as Tweakerville. Everett will not be known as the place where people get high and do drugs and get sick. Right. Lord God, Everett will not be the place where people do heroin and meth. Lord God, Everett will be renowned made known as the Hope Street. We would see the Hope yes. Avenue rise up. We would see streets literally renamed because of the transformation of God moving in our city. Yes. God, we thank you that we would break the spirit of poverty. We would break the spirit of sickness. We would break the spirit of, of, of fatherlessness, Lord God. And that we would see families restored, drunkenness broken, Lord God, and people sober-minded in the right place, Lord God. Even as you did with the demoniac, we command the spirits that have been over this land to move, Lord, because this is our time. This is our time to see the kingdom of God move in our generation. We thank you for an awakening. I believe the greatest awakening to take place in this city and in this world we've ever seen in the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus. God, we thank you that this is not a surprise to you. We thank you that we um, have you living us. We thank you that you are strength, you are peace. And I just pray that this would be a time for kids to go deeper, that it's not a time yes. where their identities are forgotten, their, for, um, their roots aren't going deeper, that it would be a time where parents um, rise up, that you would equip them to go deeper with their kids, that it would be a time where relationships are healed, where children are coming back to their fathers and their mothers, where families are being united, God, that you would use it as a time to bring back um, family dynamics, that you would unify, that we'd go back to how it was, that we would uh, just use this time to go deeper for kids to come alive in who you created them to be, that it wouldn't be a time where they're just constantly on their tablets playing games, that it'd be a time where they're going deeper with you, where they um, have a wonder stirred up of who you are, that you would give them peace, that kids would be a light for you in what is going on, that while they're on Zoom calls with their schools, God, that you would just use them through the Zoom calls to be lights, to be shining beacons for you, yes, that they would be um, truth speakers, that they would um, yes, be leading yes, on yes, what you have created them to do, that it would be a time of equipping, that this would be the starting point for something new, that this would be a time where they go farther and farther, that they go higher than ever, that it would be the beginning of a revival among kids, among families, that they would yes, just go Jesus. farther, that you would equip them, that kids would be, and families would hear yes, God for themselves, Jesus. that they would hear you speaking to them clearly, yes. that they would be confident in who they are, that they would be yes, transforming yes, and changing Jesus. their neighbors, that they would be the beginning of the goodness army in their neighborhoods, that they would be the leaders in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that your joy is our strength. So the joy of the Lord is our strength and our salvation. Yes. Thank you, Father, that in, during a time where there's fear, that we can have joy, Lord. I pray yes. against the fear over this community in Jesus' name be broken off. And I thank you, God, for freedom and joy and peace over our families and over our loved ones. And I thank you, God, for your healing power over those who have contracted the disease. In Jesus' name, they would be broken. In Jesus' name, we could declare healing over them and their bodies. And I thank you, God, for what you're going to do during this time. As we draw close to you, God, you've promised to draw near to us. And we're seeking your faith, and we are expecting, God, for great things. And we do not put our hope in what the government says. We do not put our hope in things that the world can offer, but you are our hope, God. And we place our hope in you, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Lord Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your name that is above every name, that your kingdom reigns over the hearts of the people, Lord God. Lord, that you would draw all people into yourself in this hour, Lord. God, we pray and we declare that this is an hour for harvest. This is an hour, God, where you're going to go deep, Lord, where you're reconciling families and you're reconciling lost souls with your with yourself, Lord God. The prodigals are coming home, the veils are falling off eyes and hearts, Lord. We thank you that salvation is springing up from the ground, that this is the hour of the harvest. We call in the harvest. We call in the lost. Lord, we, we declare this is a time where atheists and scientists, Lord God, Lord, where you are causing humility to come, Lord, and we humble ourselves in the church. We humble ourselves that we might receive your grace, your compassion, your justice, Lord God, your rule extended, Lord God, in our land, that you would heal our land, that you would restore our land, Lord God, that you would rebirth, Lord, the purposes of God in this generation, Lord. We thank you for a divine reset, Lord. We thank you for your people having courage, Lord. We reject fear. We reject the report of the world. We reject the report of man. Lord, we all, Lord, let us let us have discernment to only walk in truth, Lord God, in this hour. And we pray that the name of Jesus would be made great, that the church would shine like a bright beacon in this hour. Lord, that we would be a beacon of hope, that we would be a beacon of restoration and care. Lord God, that your rule would be demonstrated through your people loving and serving, Lord God, and being all that you've called us to be, Lord. Lord, let the bride be beautiful in this hour. Let the bride be radiant in this hour. Lord, let your bride shine for her bridegroom and represent you well, that you would be, that your name would be made great, Lord God. And so we just thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you for provision, Lord, for every need, Lord God. We thank you for provision, Lord, for the sound system and the speakers and the generator and everything we need, God, to blast your praises and declare your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you would, that we would each be on assignment, walking circumspectly, hearing your voice and tuning in to where you're at work, that we could join you each day. And we just declare your greatness together. And we're going to close with how great is our God. I just want you to declare this chorus with the Hoffmans tonight, that we would just lift up our voice and declare the greatness of God over Everett, over Snohomish and King County, over Pacific North, Northwest and the state of Washington, that we would declare how great our God is over the United States of America. Let's just declare his praise together.
Amen. We worship you, Lord. And we declare your greatness over the city of Everett. We declare your greatness over Sunrise Christian Center. We declare your greatness over every heart and every home that's represented here tonight. We love you, Lord. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for calling us to be your children and to be your servants at such a time as this. Lord, what a privilege it is to honor you and love you and serve you. Thank you for your, your goodness and kindness in our hearts and in our lives. And tonight, I want to encourage you as we close uh, this time. On your way out, there's a petition that you can sign for our referendum 90. We encourage you to do that uh, and take advantage of that opportunity to collect uh, signatures here tonight. And then we're our prayer meeting is not over. We are asking you, we are, I am challenging you, enlisting you to go somewhere in this city, to pray and ask the Holy Spirit. Go to a hospital, go to a beach, go to a park, go to a school, maybe drive through certain areas, maybe drive near Boeing, uh, or the mall, or wherever God leads you tonight, and just pray. And we encourage you, There's, we would love to see some of your pictures come in uh, on social media or email, and tell us, put a little video or a little picture in.